Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel for another walkthrough for another version of my mini album which I made for workshop for intercraft.com. So if you don't know, um, Intercraft is an online uh, craft shop but they also have a bricks and mortar shop uh, down in West Wales. So I managed to do um, two days of album making workshops. So we had two different sets of crafters come on two different days and they all went away with a nice completed book. So now is my turn to show you how we made it. Now my original one used House of Looking Glass and I also made one using Lady Vagabond. So they all use those very muted, uh, usual Stamperia type colours. So for the third one then, I decided let's go bright and very different. So those two looked rather similar. So I ended up going for, oh, sorry, for the Bauhaus one. So this album was made using just one 12 by 12 paper pad with some clever measurements. And I'll show you in the tutorial how I achieved that. Um, as I said, it was done in a day. It's just a repeating page just to speed up the process to get everyone through. But these papers are just totally different. And I really enjoyed using this one. It was totally different to all the others I did for the workshop and what everybody else had done. Much um, sort of brighter colours, but also the black and white images. It was just totally different. And so it was quite a challenge, but I really enjoyed it. So let's have a look at the cover. So you can see this then is 12 inches. So the album is a bit wider. So we just use some of the black cardstock then just to finish it off. And I've got some more of these images, so I could do it to cover and tie that in, but I quite liked how this finished anyway. So this paper didn't actually have this bit. This was just fussy cut from the inside cover, because you get a lot of images you can cut out in the stamp paper paper on the backs of the covers. So that's where I got that and that. So it just added a bit of colour up to the right hand corner because it did look a bit empty up here, but everything else just fitted perfectly. So let's open it up. Now, as I said, I used one 12 by 12 paper pad, but I actually had enough left over that I actually made a Carl Summers folio using some of my leftover pieces. So I said I had more bits. So this was one of um, Carl Summers' Graphic 45. She made um, a Christmas box full of little mini folios. So I've got a little tuck spot there. So this was actually made, you can see this was clever as well, using one of um, her little folios. So yeah, that's what I made using, you wouldn't believe it, but the leftovers from this album, all from one 12 by 12 pad. So we started off by decorating the inside cover with a little pocket. So we started off at easing them in gently. I said, there is a cutting list for this, but this pocket you can make whatever height you want. So I went for low pocket, so we can just drop in and still see what uh, you're tucking in. But you could make as deep as you want, wherever your paper can be cut naturally. And then we moved on to our little pocket pages. So each one is a little mini pocket with a photo mat inside for six by four photos. And we use some of the scrap bits left over just down the edges. So they just open up and they slid inside. So you can see them all sticking out. To the, oh, I've only done two. I'm sure I did four. <laughs> and then the papers is such a shame to cover. So I, sh I taught them how to make places for tuck spots and things by using those fussy cut elements from the inside covers. So it's just glued as a reverse L shape. And then one of the photo cards, which again was from the same 12 by 12 pack, just tucked in there. So if we take him with us, maybe we can find other places to drop him in. So we flip it over. And this is where you see the crux of the pages and how they were designed to make a little pattern continuation going all the way across the page. 
So we used our full 12 by 12 sheet to it the max and really went for showing off the images. And we still had room on the top strip because it was 12 by 12. So we cut out some um, tags with dies. This one was the Batwing dies by Cool Cats. So we just made some tags using what we had left over. And you managed to get two um, tags from each of the page, but I did keep some back, so I made one of these. And again, I could have put something down here to, as a tuck spot, but I didn't want to because I didn't want to hide it. Maybe I might add a little photo, a brad flap idea with magnets so I can put it on top. But it was hard with this one not to cover the faces. So kept up. But you still got your room for your six by four photos here. And I said, we've got six by four photos on the photo mats tucking in. You see, these colours and these patterns were just so different. I didn't even realise I was using Stamperia paper. So I kept this for the centre pages. So you can see we used the um, stacked flexi hinges so that everything lies nice and flat. A nice little tuck spot there. And again, this time, I cut some photo slots into my tag, so showed them how to make plain ones and how to make photo slot ones so you can change your photo just by putting in those photo slots. And again, this was from the cutout pages, just L shape. So we had a nice little tuck spot. But yes, yeah, so different. Oh, and I even managed to get the art is not theory, but a necessity going across the bottom. So again, more tags. So you can see I managed to get them from the same paper. So you did get two tags from each page. And again, your pattern continuation, because why would you want to cut that up? And then the last page. So this paper is actually the leftovers from this one. So your front and your back page come from the same page and I'll show you that in the tutorial that's coming up. And then finally, we did a nice flapped pocket and showed how to make the policy closures. And the great thing about this pocket is it makes the most of your 12 by 12 papers, but this time going vertical. So on the pages, we focused on images that went horizontal and on the inside covers because that and that actually came from one page too. So I said I was quite economical with this one. And you get your pattern continuing all the way up there. So, and then just tied it up. So yeah, my Bauhaus one, I'm not sure, I think I shouldn't say, but I think this was actually my favorite one from the three I made. And yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. It really does help the channel. Um, also visit Into Craft and remember to join my Facebook group, Paper Crafting with Paul. So if you want the cutting guide for this, it'll be downloaded in the file section there. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this Bauhaus one because, you know, it's a very different theme for the papers and if you liked it or did you prefer the more traditional ones so thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon ready for the tutorial